Is, is it actually doing anything? No. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Leo has come up from London for this. And I was like, we'll come to the singing tree. It's really windy. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's so windy though. Disappointed, Lou. I'm sorry. It's rubbish. It was really rubbish. I'm all the way from London to hear that <laughs> thing. What a rip off. Was... If it's gonna be like, come. Admiring the, the love. I love these so much. These aren't. Mm, that side's nicer. About an hour. Had a bit of a headwind most of the day, and then we just turned this corner. And we're like a little bit of a tailwind. We're heading towards Hendon Bridge now. Oh, showing there. Uh, some nice little climbs. It's like a fairly steep climb and there's a bloody traffic light. Come on. <laughs> Change for us. Change! Go! It's on green! Come up, I didn't realise it was like a 20%er, I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks for that! <laughs> Pretty windy. We're going up hill. We're just, we're just coming down my own steeps and it is pretty steep. Oh my god, I don't like that. No, it was pretty bad, I'm sorry. I not like that. No, it was pretty steep. I was like, steep. man, on the rim brakes, no thanks. Imagine if that was wet. The wheel is hot from all is the braking, yes. <laughs> you oh fancy going god. back up? No. no. So after coming down that, Lou's like, oh my god, what is up the other side of that? I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. And I'm like, it's the, I was just saying it's the longest climb in the UK after, or England, or longest continuous climb. Now going up Crag. God, I look really windswept. It looks like I've been out for days. <laughs> and then you've got markers all the way up. Oh, how far to go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How far you've got left to suffer. Right, let's go. Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> nice steady. They do a Brompton hill climbs up here. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're just at Hollingworth Lake, and I'm just going to warn you now. So, I'm going to have a quick chat with Lou because she's done some incredible stuff but she's really modest she's not always been like the amazing cyclist that she is now like she's come a long way and I think that just makes her even more phenomenal so yeah we'll have a chat with in a minute because it's bloody freezing I've had to put like I brought some arm covers on because I thought it was going to be hot but it's actually bloody freezing try to find somewhere that's not windy that's not the toilet block because the toilet block around the other side we're like oh it's really warm there this isn't too bad though yeah I've just said to people that you won't like talking about this of like all your achievements because you've done some mega stuff so do you want to just explain some of the stuff that you've done? Well, um, so when we first met like three years ago I'd just done the full route of the Tour de France which is quite big This is full route of the Tour de France Yeah, yeah. the uh, day before the um, professional males to campaign for women's Tour de France which is finally happening yeah. this year so that's really, really cool. I did that with my team called the Internationals. Um, and then we were set to go back to France the next year to do it again, um, to keep campaigning, but then COVID happened. So that year we Everested and you came and joined us for that in Wales. And then last year, we, um, four of us broke the Land's End John O'Groats relay record and then all cycled back down again. So yeah, done some big things on bikes. Um, but massive, <laughs> massive things on bikes. But don't really think of myself as like an ultra cyclist or anything like that. I just kind of, you know, this is why ride you, my bike. I think that's why you're so likable and just so and relatable. Because like we were saying before that you've not always been like no amazing cyclist. You've no, just really worked hard to do it. Yeah, yeah. I started cycling about six, seven years ago, and um, just got really into it. I'm, I'm all or nothing, and I just made so many friends doing it. It's such a cool community that. I'm kind of hooked now, yeah. <laughs> and so, I guess if anyone has got, because you've been, had so many goals and completed so many goals, like, is there like one piece of advice or a couple of pieces of advice that you would give to people that they've set their sights on something? 
Yeah, I think it is important to have like you know your sights on something to keep you training and keep you motivated and stuff like that. But it doesn't have to be something massive, just something you want to do. So whether it's just like you know the first time you go out riding for two hours in a row without stopping, or 50 miles, or it doesn't have to be 100 miles, or you know mega mega stuff. You don't have to be you know the fastest in the world or the best at anything. It's just just doing it, and and you'll have fun, and you'll inspire other people doing it too, because other people see you doing it and thinking, oh well maybe I can do that too. So you definitely inspired a lot of people and we are currently hi oh it's a bit that's a bit zoomed in we are planning some stuff for this summer so that's what we've been doing a little bit of today so yeah you'll hear about that soon i guess exciting. very exciting so you'll see that later this summer and i think we're gonna head back this is where this is where we've had to this is where we are with, <laughs> and look we've got the lifeboats and stuff there we're just like because everywhere else is just so bloody windy that is how windy the ride was. It was so windy, but it was so, so nice. And honestly, Lou is an absolute weapon on the bike. So Instagram is below, go and follow her adventures. But yeah, we've been planning um, for later on this year. So yes, you'll see what we're gonna be up to soon. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, I'll catch up with you next video. Dog walk, I don't know whether any of you do it. This, people look so proud. I mean, I'd rather they were in a bag swinging it, but they just swing it around like it's a bag of sweets. Where, where else can we go there? Should we go and sit behind the toilets again? Well, it's just grim around there, though, isn't it? <laughs> right, well, this is that's all that with the magpie. Oh. This is a kid's yeah, shoe. Yeah. <laughs>